What is happening? We are back. Episode 12 of the Roman Duddy Show. What's happening, Rome? What's going on, guys? Thank you for tuning back in. We are stoked to be here. We have a brand new episode of the Great American Talent Show today and a bunch of stuff to talk on. And uh, yeah, just stoked to be here back with you guys. What's the word? Yeah, that's right. We got another awesome episode for you guys today. But once again, if you guys have been enjoying the show, wherever you're listening, please remember to subscribe, hit the likes, give us five stars, whatever it It is. It really does help. It helps the show grow. And we just want to keep, uh, you know, being able to put the shows out for you guys. So please, please, please. We would absolutely appreciate it. Thank you so much. But enough of that. What is going on in music news for Dirty Heads? We have been in the studio quite a bit and we are getting close uh we're getting closer to being done with this album i'm super excited about it you guys been grinding um, man we've been grinding and um i was there yesterday all day with jared and right after we record this episode i'm I'm gonna hit be there again and i i god man i think we've got it like 10 of them or so that are like pretty much done and we just want to get like these last three or four touched up a little bit and finished and then um we'll go from there but i it's think dope, you guys man. are really going to enjoy like it. like the little like snippets and stuff that i've heard from both that you know jared's been posting and then you know the stuff that you guys have been showing me and sending me it's like yeah it sounds so fucking awesome man i think people are going to be really stoked because it's, it's it sounds like super dirty heads and like but at the same time it's still like like just an evolution of the band you know but it, it sounds dope man you guys are on your a game on this shit and i think people are going to really trip out oh, tight, thank man. you man i appreciate it i'm i'm stoked um yeah no man i i mean obviously we're we're jumping into the studio like for me that's like the the thing right now because sublime with rome isn't going into the studio until uh after our summer tour so we kind of got some more time to kind of just like, you know, sift through the records, but you and I are going in the studio in March. So that's kind of where yes. like, you know, like where I've been thinking. And I know right now you're kind of finishing up like dirty heads. It's so mm-hmm. funny how, how like these things are planned out, but like they are, they naturally kind of find their way of like, um, of like placement, you know, and like, cause you guys are wrapping up the dirty heads record. And that's like, we'll give you a little bit of like breathing room, like a month to kind of prepare for when we go back into the studio in March, yeah. you know, cause like then we start the Roma Duddy record, you know? And, um, and so right now, like my, like my mind space is like, I have like the next, you know, th- th- this month and then the next month to kind of like prepare for yeah. our next record. You know what I mean? So, which has been really rad. Like I just been really just diving into like, you know, the, the, the realm of the sounds and everything and, and just kind of getting inspired by like all the artists, you know, that were like of the genre that we're trying to really kind of like hit on, you know, just that classic Bob Marley and Bob Dylan and, you know, Van Morrison and just kind of just submerge myself into that sound. So it's been awesome, man. Like it's been cool, like listening to this stuff and then being around my kids and then them just kind of, listening to the music as well because i don't know yeah. like usually like you know we're, we're always like so caught up in stuff and they want to listen to like you know just the wackest like little kid music <laughs> and stuff you know like baby <laughs> beluga and shit and you know it's cool to like be like playing some like old school shit and they're like what what is this you know i'm like Shh. i like this yeah you do hell like, yeah this is go. actual music this yeah. is the good shit right here this is this is where it all came from so yeah. yeah man a lot of music in the air though man for i i think it's like you know it's kind of tight how we're just we're, we're we're blessed to constantly be working on new music you know and then touring on absolutely it. absolutely rad. man it's like uh there's a really good feeling about like finishing a project, you know, finishing a song and and you're really Absolutely. proud of it and and you're just stoked on it and it's just like, oh, this is this is really cool. We made this. Yeah, it, it takes like so much to get to that point to where you're able it to just does. press play <laughs> on Spotify. But man, when it's there, it's like, you know, when and it is a trip like being an artist and actually like hitting play on Spotify on the new thing that you just dropped cuz it's like you know, you can't help but think about the whole fucking process, you know? Yeah. And some totally. of these things, like, for, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not sure how it is for you, but for, for some of these things that I do, like, maybe it's a chunk of lyrics, or maybe it's chords, or maybe it's melody, but some of this shit I maybe came up with years ago. Totally. So, it's like crazy. Years. Like, years, and like, you know, I tried it in other scenarios or other songs, and it just, for whatever yeah. reason, didn't work, but you get it right, and then you, you know... 
when that song's out and you're hearing it or you're somewhere out in public, like we were just talking about how like, you know, one of your tracks is like now in like cafe and like some of your friends are like hearing it at restaurants and shit, you know, like, um, like lift me up, you know, it's like, it's the same yeah. thing. Like, you know, like someone, I'll, I'll even catch myself like hearing a song that I'm associated with or that I put out and just like hearing that part. I'm like, damn, part of that verse I wrote in like, you know, fucking 10th grade or something like that. Like, yeah, it's yeah. just crazy, dude. Time, music, beautiful. Very grateful. Very, very grateful. Um, yeah, but shit, other than that, we do have an awesome summer tour coming up. I, I'm, have you guys I've announced seen it the yet? lineup. We haven't announced it yet. What and, the hell? Uh, I, have, I have seen the lineup. I think you guys are going to be stoked on it. And now I have even seen the dates. And it's a big one. It's a long, it's a good long summer tour with some awesome bands. And I wish I could announce it right now, but I don't think I'm able to. So just do it. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, just do it. It's like you get so much planned for it. You're like, yeah, I'm just going to drop it right now. I'm just going to drop it and ruin everyone's surprise plan. But um, yeah, so uh, super excited about that. But um, man, that's really all I got for the music news right now. Anything else for you, Rome? Uh, we got a summer tour that I can't drop either. So, you know, boo hoo, you know, it's tight just though. Do it. It's just tight. Do it. It's such a sick tour that, you know, I don't even really need to talk about it. It'll just like, you see it and you're like, oh, shit. Okay. I'm going to that. Um, I'm going to the Dirty Head show. Oh, wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, what? You got <laughs> We're, dude, does it, are, are we going to tell them that? High and Mighty tour part part three. Are we going to tell them that we're we're doing that this summer? The secret is we're going on tour together again, guys. I'm kidding. No, I'm not. <laughs> tour not. I don't know if people will be happy or not. They'd probably be like they'd be like, dude, come on, you guys, come on, enough. <laughs> Just g- give us a couple years at least, yeah. please. I'm still wearing the merch. Um, <laughs> no, man. So, I, I, yeah, I think we wrapped up music news pretty good. We got a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, let's up? get into the frick, let's get into the T-Gats. Yay! The great American talent show. We're gonna get into it. But My for those of you listening song. who do not know what this is, it is the great American talent show. It is where you guys, the listeners, you send us. Your talents, um, mostly we've been getting sent music, bands, or just, you know, solo artists. Um, but you can send us anything. If you're a dancer, if you're um, skateboard, if you're, you know, whatever it is you do, you get it. Send us whatever you want and send it to the Rome and Duddy Show at gmail.com. And when you do send it, also send us like your social media info, like where we can find you, maybe like where you're from, something like that. So when we talk about you in the show, we have a little background and we could tell people where to find you. Um, and also, uh, on this episode, I am going to be answering a bunch of Q&A questions. And if you want a chance to uh, ask me and Rome questions that we will answer on this show, and also a chance to vote on the contestants of the Great American Talent Show, go to Facebook. There's a Facebook group. It's called The Roman Duddy Show. And uh, jump in there. And uh, it's just a bunch of people hanging out, talking about the podcast, The Roman Duddy uh, Project. Dirty Head, Sublime with Rome, you get it, all that stuff. And then they, uh, you also can ask us questions that we'll answer on the show. So let's answer one right now, Rome. Let's go. Who we got? What are they asking? Neil Is it Joseph. Intrusive? Neil Joseph. No, it's a good one. Neil Joseph says, what was each of your first jobs? Ooh, that's a good one. That's a really yeah. good one. Uh, mine was, I worked at a place called Charo Chicken. That was my first job. I think I was like 14 or 15 and I worked there for like, probably a year or two and it was right across the street from our high school and me and a couple of the guys of my my friends that we played baseball together on the high school team and we would after practice we would just walk across the street and we worked in child chicken i would make chicken and rice bowls and burritos and stuff and yeah wow that's because i still t- across the street do you still eat there I to this day oh, I still order the Charo burrito because it's so damn good. Oh, dude! I just imagine like the guy who's working the, they have like a picture of you in the office. Like, dude, that's <laughs> you work here. This is what happens. Okay, Fucking, this is the legend of Duddy B. Okay, oh you, yeah, crazy things can happen when you work at Charo. This guy, yeah, I get free uh, free Charo burritos for life. For life, actually. eh? For life, you're an ambassador. 
That's fucking <laughs> rad. Okay, my first job was um, I had a lot of first jobs. Sabaro Pizza in the mall. You got fired. In the, I was gonna say in the mall, an airport where it's the only place in you see the those. Mall, dude. Don't, yeah, well, because nobody wants an actual brick and mortar version of that. Pizza's terrible. Yeah, so terrible. I only worked there for like a week. But my first real job was like Starbucks. I was like, yeah, I was. I oh, was that's there. right. I was there, man. I was green aproned up. Um, oh yeah. And it was tight. You know, it was when it was a new company, and I felt like it was cool. So I was just be like telling people all the time, like, oh, that's so crazy. You're drinking Starbucks. We work there. You know, it's tight. Yeah. yeah. Shares the company because when you that's get my hired, company. That's my. You know. You know. That's my oh, company, you like Starbucks? Yeah. That's so crazy. Yeah. Just we're really you know proud of how we're doing as a company. Yeah. I probably so. got like 15 cents for that. <laughs> Dude, not even. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> not even. Fractional dividends. Oh um, man. Um, let's answer one more Q and A question, and then let's just. Was there jump an earthquake in California guys. or something? What's what, what's going on over there? Your camera's just jumbling around. Uh, dude, I had to move into my bedroom last second. This shit. You should see what my computer is like on a chair right here. <laughs> That's and, what I was uh, wondering. It was all like. I got people. My bathroom's almost done. Getting redone right now. And then there's a bunch of shit going on in my kitchen. And now there's electric work getting done in my garage where I was set up. So I was like, oh, my Damn, God. Damn, you're like knocking it all out. <laughs> I'm getting nice. it done. Good man. But uh, let's see Are here. we T-Gatson? Is it time to t Let's do. You want to just t Let's do. Let's, do, let's, go let's jump in. T-Gats, baby. Let's t got this. Cue all the right. music. We can jump in anytime now. 30, so 32. who... Do we have up first on the Great American Talent Show? The, yeah, what Shall are we, we calling these again? Seashells? What? We <laughs> are calling them uh, rounds. Okay. Round. This round. All right. Let's get into it. Rome, who do we have up first? This first round up. of the Great American Talent Show. Okay. First up, contestant number uno, we have Olivia Malbrin who appears to be a singer-songwriter based out of I Don't Know. Um, but she has submitted a song called Mirror. And um, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's check it out, shall we? Very pretty guitar. Mm-hmm. her voice yeah Stuck in this tunnel, court change where I've got this huge the strings in the background are beautiful beautiful that's very very beautiful great 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 job that was uh olivia malbrick with her song mirror very very beautiful yes song. very nice very sweet um yeah man i i thought that was great 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 job olivia uh your song's really really pretty i think your voice is really unique and i think the chords are um they're they're cool it's different it doesn't sound like you know something that is uh, you know, really modern or typical or anything. It sounds really unique. So great job. Yeah. All right. All right. Should we uh, go to contestant number two now? We yeah, got... we'll, go, we'll do contestant number two and then we'll answer another question. That sounds good. Okay. Next up, we have C Money and the Set Free. And they are playing their song, People of the Sun. Oh, yes. I remember. People of the Sun. This was the song that uh, um, was sent to us. That actually, they sent this song a couple of months ago, and it got sent to a spam folder for whatever reason. And I found it, and I listened to five seconds of it, like we're allowed to do. And I thought, you know what? 
I think this will be a great addition to the show. So thank you guys for sending in your song. This song is called People of the Sun by C Money, The Set Free. Quieter master than Olivia's. 213 at the 76, Mercury pushing 110. All these miles and all these friends, can't clear my mind from the night we just had. Where do we go from here? I said, no message is coming in clear. One more right. day and I take another sip. Come on now, baby, light my next sip. Come a thousand miles with no regrets. Take another thousand just to forget. Just to forget. Take another thousand just to forget. All right. Okay. Okay. It's cool. No, it's not bad. It's, it's not, not bad. bad. It's not bad. But yes, but... I, I know what you're saying. You know, it's yeah. Um, you know, I, I thought it was well recorded. It, it, yeah. Um, sonically, it it, it just didn't. It, it doesn't really sound like anything. Um, that's like pushing the envelope or anything. So yeah, I think for that um, reason alone. Well, we can't cut anyone yet, Rome. Remember. No. I know, I know. I'm just saying, you know, just, just, just c- compared to my girl Olivia, you know, I'm just getting a little different. Yeah, song. yeah. It's a good song. But, um, it's not a bad song. You can tell that they're, you know, they, they know they're good at their instruments. You know, he's got a pretty good voice, and it, but yes, I get what you're saying. It's a, it's, you know it's not me. anything new. It's nothing you haven't heard. You know me. You know. Me. I know you. But, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but I do know you. Okay. Um, Let's answer another question, question here. Yeah. Uh, where am I at? Uh, Heather Van Orden says, so for both of you, who would you really love to tour or collab with? You haven't gotten a chance yet. How Also, how do we get Snoop on a track with you guys? <laughs> um, Dude, Snoop's killing it right now. Yeah, did I you just, see those little video clips of him like smoking right before the halftime show? I love that. Dude, him crip so walking funny. at the Super Bowl was everything. Was was, dude, that's, that's amazing. And then like, yeah. Um, dude, he, I didn't even know how I missed this news, but apparently like six, like last week it was announced that he actually bought Death Row Records recently. Oh shit. I didn't even know that. Which is fucking radical. If you know the Snoop Dogg story, like, you know, like record labels have not been, I guess, like really kind to Snoop and his older catalog and stuff from what I saw. And, um. You know, this is just rad to like see how good he's doing, and then now him him able to just buy the whole record label. I think Suge's in jail for the rest of his life or something. So like, it's not like the label is really doing anything. So it yeah. should be it should be in Snoop's hands because he's gonna he made it the first NFT record label. Quote, yeah, quote, that's awesome. Know? Which I think is rad. So fucking yeah, yeah. man, Snoop's killing it. I, I like to see that. Sorry, I hijacked that question, but no, just, that's all good. I, I wanted to talk about Snoop, so yeah. Yeah, that's all. Um, hey, uh, hit it back to full screen there, Romy. Sorry about that. We're that's just checking out the next band. Um, that was Luke telling me, texting right there. Um, let's see here. Um, let's a- want to answer one more question. Yeah. Uh, Corey Rolfe says, "I've had this question for a while. Who are the four people in the any port in the storm photo album?" Ah. Um, and how long was it just you for? It, I think I'm pretty sure that was just me, Jared, Matt, and John John. Um, and they it not recognize you guys or what? I think it's like a it's like a silhouette, you know, oh. kind of situation in the boat. And they wouldn't assume that that's the band. Well, on stage now, there's eight of us. So oh, well, yeah, okay, I got you. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was me and Jared and John nice John, just the percussion player. It was just us at first for you know quite some years i don't even remember and then matt joined and then dave and then uh and then we picked up sean and and then mark and ruben the two horn guys yeah now there's eight of us on that stage but it's awesome i love it family got bigger family got bigger who we got next okay next up we have submitted by colin woodson we are going to be listening to burning slow with their song Loosen Up. K 
came in hot. There's something stuck inside you. I can see it in your eye. You afraid to stay and it makes no sense. I know you know it ain't right. You got a sickness weighing you down. Bound to make you drown. Don't be a witness. Is this cool? Funky, you know? Yeah, it's super funky. What the fuck happened there? Dude! Definitely super different. I've been to that. They went into like hard though. Back in the skull. Loud drum mix. Locked in this hollow room. In the place you can't escape. You give in tape, put in some weird way. You can't right. help but break. Oh, Trust, wow. Live it, forget it, light it up and take it. Afraid to change so you stay the same. I said, you were Good job, guys. That's cool. That yeah. is uh, burning slow music. I mean, hey, loosen up was the name of the song. Give it up. Yeah, the name of the song was called Loosen Up. Loosen um, up. Not bad. I bet. Ah, that was cool. If man. they play like locally, you know, at a, I bet like at a bar, like it probably goes off. You know that shit goes. It's got that energy. You know, they've got just people getting hammed. Fucking fights breaking out. <laughs> just all kind, just mayhem on the dance floor. Yo, that part right before the chorus when like the sub just boom, was like an 808 hit. Yeah. I don't know, and I still don't know to this day. I don't know if it clipped or if my speakers clipped or if it was their 808, but something happened and it was nuts. It was a moment. We connected too. <laughs> we both looked at each other. It was like, what the fuck? Okay. Wild all right, mix. All right. Let's do another one let's, back to back. Let's do one more. Okay. We got um, this one. Has a little bit of a message. Thank you. Okay. A big, big message. Um, this is uh, regular people. Regular people. <laughs> regular. <laughs> regular people. I did not see that coming. That's rad. Regular people is a brother duo drummer in New York. We're an East Coast reggae rock alternative hip hop band influenced heavily by bands like the Dirty Heads, Sublime, SWR, Hyrie, and all the sweet reggae rock music emerging from California. I feel like reggae rock is, rock is blowing up, bro. It's fucking crazy. It's gotten so much bigger. It was it's crazy how many so much people bigger. Yeah, were like, at that Cali Vibes Fest. You're just like, jeez, like, man. Dude, it's at its peak. Not like peak, but like I feel like it's like as, as big as it's ever been right now, you know? And it there's like a lot getting, of like I mean, a lot of artists year, bigger and, bigger. and bands that are like, oh, you know what? Let's fucking do some shit like that. Like, it's funny because yeah. like I'm like a, you know, producer and shit and I get hit up by a lot of like other management and record labels that are like, hey, can you make some stuff for this artist? Just like I've always done, except now they're kind yeah. of a little more like, <clears throat> hey, make it like, you know, sublime styling stuff like you guys do. And it's like, oh, yeah. oh, you yeah. want a reggae rock song now, huh? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, that's rad, though. I, I like to see it. Um, so this is a drummer duo? Is that what yes, I heard you say? From New York. Um, okay. And uh, they're submitting their band single. Oh, okay. If I would have been told back in 2013 that we'd be submitting our band single to compete on the podcast of the two guys and lay me down, I watched on repeat. I probably wouldn't have believed it. Aww. Now, almost a decade later, I've seen you guys well into the double digits at concerts. We've done meet wow. and meets with the Dirty Heads and Ask Study B questions in person. You probably know this dude, Justin Grada. Um, oh, but anyway. that name does sound very familiar. Okay, so Regular People. This is his song, Shoddy Left Me. Shoddy Left Me. Shawty left me in the morning, why she always leaving? But Shawty left me in the morning, why she always leaving? But Shawty left me in the morning, why she always leaving? Calling her, I wonder what she feeling. Gotta be a reason why you push me away. There's something on your mind, something that you gotta say. So go on, it didn't tell me, I just don't wanna wait. The sun is going down and I ain't got all day. Just wanna go You're out a good and writer. catch me some race. Just lay it down so we can just go our own ways. Live the rest of my life, but that I'm lonely. That's all little night. voice. I'll be just fine, my little brother and who pie. Think this is the part where cool we voice. say goodbye. So I think it's a strong song. Love, I will try. 
So I stare at the wall, still can't believe that I'm done with it all. Months still passing, I'm hoping you call him. Pillow soaking your boy is balling. In the morning, hope you stay. This is dope. Birthday, I think this needs to be produced better, but this is a good song. That's a great. Yeah, that's a good song. I would slow it song. down a little bit. Seems like everyone's trying to rush really to mm-hmm. keep up, you know. I would just slow that down and uh, just sit in that pocket with that. But uh, it's a cool song, and he got a nice. Uh, it's a cool voice, and I bet you. Yeah. I bet you if. Um, Cause you know, Collie Buds, he's a he's a producer, fucking dope producer. I didn't even know that, but he he makes like crazy dope tracks. Um, and uh, dude, if 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 he did that shit, pfft, you wouldn't even recognize it. That record right there, I guarantee you. If if they weren't doing it, no no offense, but if if you guys weren't doing that song and another artist was performing that song and it was produced by, you know. Someone like Collie Buds, like that, people wouldn't even recognize that because I think the melodies are there and I think the writing is there. Um, yeah. But yeah, I, I don't think the production is there. Um, but great job. You guys keep. Yeah, cool keep song. Up shit. Um, keep setting us Yeah. Stuff. Keep that up for sure. That was awesome. And then I'm going to answer one question because starting now, as we, we gotta, listen, we're going to have to dang. start cutting peeps. Is it that time already? It is. So uh, before right. we get into that, uh, Michelle Nachetsky says, dang, so many good questions already. Oh, have you e- have either of you ever been to Disney World in Florida? How do you think it compares to Disneyland? I actually have never been to Disney World. I know we've played like right outside of it. And I think maybe we like looked around for a second, but like we I've never really been. I've never been to Disney World. Well, it, wait, yeah. where where's the... Uh... Is that where the Simpsons exhibit was? Or the, the oh, first no Simpsons idea. installment? Or was that Universal Studios? I forget. Um, I don't uh, think I've... No, I'm guessing I've, that was Universal. Yeah, probably. that's Universal. Nope, I've, I've never been to Disney World. So no. uh, I've never been to Disney World, but I have been to Disneyland many times. And how does it compare? I guarantee Disney World's way better. Yeah, I'm never mad. been. Probably way fucking better. It's probably uh, way, way bigger. And way... Look, Disneyland's cool and, uh, and Disney's cool and all that, but it's like, honestly, it's just too much now. It's like you go there on a fucking Wednesday at, in, early in the morning and you're still waiting an hour and a half for every damn uh-huh. ride. And it's just, it's too many people. Everything is so damn expensive. It's crazy. What it's about, crazy. It's too much. Um, one of our homegirls, Aaron Brown, she she uh, she used to work for Slash, and and she went with Slash one time, and or many times, but she told me this one time, like about how she was at Disneyland with Slash, and Slash, because he's like you know the dopest rock star in the world, and, who, and if he wears that hat, he's gonna get bombarded everywhere. Yeah, um, he just got first in line to like every everywhere. ride, and I just thought, man, that would be like. The sickest way yeah. to do Disneyland. If and I, I know there is it, some things be... where you can buy like quick pass or something. Yeah, but other, even but then, those like, are blown even out. That it's still blown out. Dude, yeah, it's, it's blown still out just now. like a headache. It's like then fucking you gotta time your whole day, and you go, "We're gonna get here at this time." And What's that shit? Look at I'm over that. TSA pre-check. <laughs> it's like TSA pre-check yeah. now. That, yeah. I mean, that, that's now you got to get clear. Regular line. Man, I had clear. I'm yeah, but clear doesn't. Not every airport. Not only the big ones. You get like Chicago. You get like LAX. Yep. You get fucking, you know, the ones what, where you uh, need it. Dallas, Denver. Yeah, the, those Denver. But Denver's like, always a massacre of smaller ones. Like all yeah. connect at those big ones, but you don't need it when you're connecting. So I don't know. I, I yeah. It does on the way home though. When you're when you're doing those one offs, you got a show yeah. in Denver and you're flying out the next morning and you're all hung over. Oh, yeah. and you don't want to wait. In oh line. for sure. You just oh, scan yes. your eyeballs in the machine. Bleep, bleep. And then boom, the next thing you know, you're just in front of the line. It's crazy. But anyway, <laughs> Disneyland's lit. Haven't been to Disney World. 
you know, it is what it is. Should we go to the next? I forgot to. Yeah, switch I back will to say that. though, I don't think that anyone's ever been eaten by an alligator at Disneyland. Yeah, and I, you know, just to add to that, I think the reason why Disney World would be a little more cracking than Disneyland is because of the fact that um, you get a lot of like traffic from Asia and Europe coming in that way, versus I feel you know, like more more people are touching ground touching down ground in America via um, the, the Atlantic Ocean versus the Pacific, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> good enough. Okay. okay. That's good. Uh, that, good that's thought. just an observation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> Who we this, got next? This one's tight. This one was really cool because we haven't gotten something like this before. So I wanted to... Um, I only heard a little bit of it, and I was like... What is it? You haven't heard it yet. Um, but I knew I had to put it in the show. Okay. This is a submission from um, Rick Royer. Who? Hey, guys. Big fan of you both. I'm going to roll me on the Facebook group. No song for me, but I recorded some impressions. Just me with oh, no filters no and an way. iPhone. Dude, I only heard the first one, and I was like, oh, shit. Impressions? This yes. is amazing. It's so... It sounded pretty fucking rad. Sorry, what was his name? His name is Rick Royer. Hi, this is Donald Schwarzenegger. You're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. <laughs> this is Optimus Prime. You're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. Hey, man, this is Dave Chappelle, and you're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. What? Hey, this is Vin Diesel. You're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. Hey man, this is Charles Barkley, and you're listening to the what? Rome and Duddy Show. <laughs> that sounds like Charles Barkley. This is Jason Statham. You're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. <laughs> this is Ozzy Osbourne, and you're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. He wishes he taught that clear. This is Don Oak, and you're listening to the Rome and <laughs> Duddy Oak. Show. This is John Madden. You're listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. Uh, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Rome and Duddy. All right, to finish up, this is Jack Black. You are listening to the Rome and Duddy Show. And hun. <laughs> Does Jack Black talk like that? I don't know. I, I didn't hear Jack Black there, but well, there was some good ones. There's there, some though. strong. His Dave Chappelle is through the roof. Yeah, that was really good. Hey, man, you're listening. I, I can't even, that was <laughs> so Madden. good. The oh, Madden John Madden was, was on. That was on point. That was great. That's man. pretty funny. I love um, that. If anybody else does submissions, please send that over, because that is rad. Or no, submissions, uh, impressions, impressions. Please submit that. That that's so fun to listen to. And I like how I'm looking up the list now. I'm like, fuck. What do oh, we? We have do to cut, here? huh? Damn. Yeah. Sorry, uh, I cut you out there. No, no, no. I was I was gonna say it. Like I I like how he used the show. As the yeah, because uh, now we can use those. Hey, totally. Luke, I'm gonna use a Dave cut, Chappelle. One. Cut all of those out because we're gonna use every single one of those at some point. Totally, a hundred percent. Hey, I man. don't know, man. <laughs> What's your thoughts? Okay, I mean, I feel like I think we can cut see see the money. Um, if we had to do one, because the cause set been, free. Yeah, I I just kind of feel like um, you know that there's a little more you know heat that we got on the list. You know, um, it's between that one or um, uh, the regulator people. Regular, regular, regular people. Oh yeah. Oh no, regular people. Regular people. It's regular people. Yes, that's what I was trying to tell you. It's regular people. Oh my God, that's amazing! Right? <laughs> I just want to give him a couple more points for that. I mean, and and, and, and again, like other like people, <laughs> I really like the song. I, you know, I, I just kind of yeah, felt yeah. Like, I feel you with it though. That one, it was a little off timing. Mm -hmm. There was some weird stuff going on, but it would be between. You could tell it was two. good writing. Yeah. yeah, I would be between those two as well. <sighs> You're calling this first one, Rome. I'll, 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 you can make me do the next one. 
All right. Thank you for submitting C Money and the Set Free, but unfortunately, we're going to have to cut you from the first part of the contest. Very sorry, my friends. Thank you for submitting. Thank you, man. Please, and that was not a bad song either. No, that wasn't not, bad not, at all. Not at all. Um, you know, just, I mean, even as we're kind of talking about it earlier, like the scene is getting so big now, and like there's like, you know, so many different bands inside of here now. It's like it's it's yeah. more crucial than ever to have a very original type of approach to the genre and to the sound now. Even just from the, you know, just from just being discoverable, you know, from the discoverability factor alone. Just yeah. I think it could be um, you know, definitely something to explore, you guys. So heck yeah. Thanks for submitting. Yeah. Moving on, baby. The contest. Yeah, yeah. Second half. It heats up now, my friends. It heats up now. Should we go into the next uh, one, or do you want to answer a question yeah, before we jump no, in? No, you go ahead. Let's do the next one. I'm searching through the okay. questions here. I like this. Uh, next up, we are doing George Setka. He sent us in a um, lovely little batch of some music and some, and some songs. Okay, so uh, next up, we have George Setka. Um, submitting his song, it would appear it feels like summer remix. Is that a homeboy? Oh. No. You can unmute your mic. Whoa. Good. Great voice. I like the song. Cool, man. Yeah. Yes, it feels like summer. Feels like a summer day. Oh. Interesting guitar tone on that. Yeah. I never heard that. It's like the wall. It's the wall pedal, but it's just cocked at like twenty percent, and then it I just like that. down. Okay, I'm into that. Thanks for submitting, George Seca. Everybody. All right. That's, That's a solid music. track. Solid Feels like recording. Summer. Is that a is 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 that a, a cover song? Because it says remix. I'm curious. Could be. It could. It could be. If not, either way, good song. If not, you know, um, great great remix. George, thanks for submitting that in. I love when we get some heat. You know. Some good stuff. This is a good episode, man. We got some good songs on this. Like we do. Um, you know? So I mean, yeah, yeah, awesome. that was nice. I mean, I guess we had on the chopping block before this was the C Money against regular regular people, which is a great name. Um, does George Seca beat out regular regular people for you? I think so. Yeah, I, I think he beats it out. I think for me. so. Yeah, he had a great voice. That, that was a you know good song, whether or not it's original yeah. or not. Not sure, but you know, look, looked and sounded good. Um, but yeah, regular people, great name, great songwriting, um, well written song, super yeah. super good songwriting. Yeah, I would just uh, maybe take that song back in to wherever you recorded it, or if you did it at your house, and just go back over it. Maybe like try and you know really zone it in there. And my first. In my first opinion, like right when I heard, it, I was like, "Oh, they need to slow this down," you know, yeah, this six, is fast. you know, easily, you know, a BPM like right away. Just slow it down and really just find that groove because it's a cool song. And keep working on it. And thank you for submitting too. Absolutely. We appreciate it, man. Yeah, we got some heat on this episode, man. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm stoked. I feel like every episode, like the talent just gets better and better, and the decisions get harder and harder. So totally, that's tight. And I think it's because you know it, it is growing. Like we've seen, like. You know, we've seen the numbers and stuff, and it's like, yeah. Thank you guys for sharing this and getting your friends involved and everything. It's like, it's definitely expanding, and I think as that more happens, we're gonna get more and more diverse talent and stuff. You know, totally. What do we got next? 
Ooh, Uncle Spaceman. I love the name. Uncle Spaceman? Yes, man. Uncle he wins. Spaceman. Winner. We have a winner. <laughs> right out the gate, too. Okay, not sure exactly what you're looking for. We're looking for this, man. So here's my latest album, and here's a freestyle. Um, let's do this. A freestyle? Doomsday Freestyle. Grandpa Perps. It looks like Jared. <laughs> this is tight. I like the beat. I like this little picture next to the jacket. Man on a mission to learn all the secrets of the universe. To be the one who knew it first through the works of growth. As we loop the cursive O's, falling back over perfect hurdles. The sweet shores purple. Peace pure, the circle, you disturb. Full of thinking twice. Drinks on nice sip or slip. Put drinks in vice grips. Come on, y'all. Hands in the air. I'm robbing you priceless. Sight kids, go put your face back on. I take it off, stay blessed off. I hit the deems, landed in a pit. Here it is. I like him, but I don't really like the beat. Yeah, play the other one. So that was a freestyle? Yeah, that's a freestyle. I'm, play the other one. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, let's check this one out. This is his album. Now we are moving. I'm speeding up. You know something? You bitch, rap so raw, this shit will make you itch quick. Soon as you're embracing it, I mean you really want to stay with it. Too many lessons, you're gonna hate to kick. It was written. Jeez, man, I'm trying to fucking work with you here. Say just sick, working for a wager tip. I put All right, come on. with it free. I put here we go. words of a beat. So you turn up the beats. I'm farming instrumentals, riding dirty with, with that karma in the rental. Where they left on He's on Uncle Space Man for sure. He's on another planet, to. man. Brain in the gutter. That gold up in my dental. No scratch raps. <laughs> that gold up in my pencil. My style's free. You're molded from a stencil and inconsequential. Come on, dad. The poverty. This on you, dog. Let's go. My rap um, aficionado. Uh. What's the it's word? like I look and I guarantee this guy would probably destroy me in a freestyle battle, you know, like because <laughs> right. I don't I can't do that. I don't do that, you know. Um and, I mean you can give if you get me enough like whiskey back in the day, I, you couldn't shut me up. I'm not saying it would be good, but <laughs> I would they do give it. you an hour though, you'll end the motherfucker's life. Yeah. <laughs> um yeah, it's it's hard for me because it's like I don't that's not my style. Like I can't get in like that first one, like you said, like the beat was so like whack. I was like, or yeah. wacky. I was just like, I don't even know where my, my head's not wrapping around. And that this, second you know? one came in and it was like, what? Yeah. There was um, so much noise going on. I couldn't even understand what you were saying because of the beat. Yeah. was So crazy. But that's like a whole scene that <laughs> I think that's like, style, I'm sure right? like if you're in that scene, you're probably like, damn, Uncle Spaceman's the shit. And His he beats very well might be. I just don't know. Like, that's not my yeah. thing. Like, I, I have a cousin who would probably love this guy and be like, you don't know Uncle Spaceman? Like, you know, and um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know. It's I think it's like you're, you're dope at what you do, but I don't know if it's going to beat out George Seca. You know I what think I mean? that's a, actually a, a really good testament. Um, just a sidebar to what you just said. Um, we don't do, and, and I know we said this before, but I just want to make it a point. Like we don't do crazy research like that with the contestants. We listen to five seconds of the submitted yeah. talent, and then we go put it on the show, not put it on the show. Um, we don't look how many followers you don't have. So like, like you said, like this guy could be huge in his scene or whatever. We would not even know. Cause we did not even, we don't look at your followers. We don't look at how many monthly plays you get. We just look at the submissions and go off the talent. So, um, but yeah, to, 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 to go off what you were saying, um, you know, I think the beats were a little too crazy for me to really even be able to focus on what he was saying. So yes. that, um, and you being a rapper, that's that's kind of the most important part for me. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, it sounds like you got talent, man. Like I, I like your pocket, I like your voice. Um, just you know, maybe the beats just weren't 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 the right combination for for Dud and I. But uh, thanks thanks for sending in, man. Sounded yeah, sounded good. Woo! All right, heating up. So uh, we cutting him. How many more we got? How many got more submissions we got? Three more. Three, three more. more. Let's just get through. Let's just run through these three, and then I'll answer like one or two more questions as we, uh, you know, before we end the show. Okay. Okay. All right, Uncle Spaceman. Thank you for the submission, my man. Next up, 
we are going to be bringing on, ooh, this name sounds familiar, Chris Browning. What's up, guys? This is Chris from Carolina Vibes out of Charlotte, North Carolina. We are an original music group that loves to jam. Here's one of our newest tunes called Party in Your Head. I hope you guys enjoy. Love- <laughs> Sorry, Carolina Vibes? Carolina Vibes. Uh huh. And this song's called Party in Your Head. Um, you can find us on Facebook, Carolina Vibes NC, and on Instagram, Carolina Vibes NC. Thanks for checking us out. Thanks for doing what you guys do. The name of this song is Party in Your Head. <laughs> That's just all room mic right there, bro. I like that part. I think this is a live recording. Yeah. Or maybe it's like a rehearsal recording or something. Okay. 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 Um, you know what? Uh, I I think the. I think the song was better than the performance of it, to be honest. Yes. You could tell, like, the vocalist had, a, like, a cool voice. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, there was a lot of energy. I just I couldn't really hear. All yeah. I could hear was hi-hat. Yeah. yeah. It sounded yeah. like a lot of hi-hat and a lot of reverb. Yeah. But you, you could hear the potential in the song. I, I thought it yeah. was cool. Like, um, I like the chord changes, and I, I thought the melodies were good. Um, I would say... Definitely try and, uh, you know, if, if that was a home recording, I would say definitely, A, turn the drums down and the guitar down. Um, but try and use a little less room and, and just try and use a little more of the sounds. Uh, try and minimize the room as much as possible so yeah. it takes up less of the space in the song. And you can focus on what the singer's saying. Um, if that's what you want, if, if you want to focus on the the song but some people want to focus more on the instrumentation so I get that um, which is you know to each their own someone would um, say that some would say that the drummer is the guy who mixed the song mixed, mixed that song right there because he turned you know himself who says up. that me who drummers that, that's so tr- no that's that's what a singer would say because the drummer okay. would be like <laughs> drummer would be like nah man I'm, I'm humble with my shit but he would turn himself way up alright yeah um, two, we got two more Two, two more submissions. It could be any man's game at this point. Two more submissions. There we go. Tim Kranz. I am 38. I live in Jonestown, PA. I'm a veteran, a wedding DJ, a singer, songwriter. I have two kids and one on the way. Congrats, my brother. This is a home recording of an original song I wrote called I'm Alive. Let's check it out. Tim Kranz, everyone. I'm alive. Not expecting that. Me either. All I need is you, my friends. Thanks for that just went so trippy, man. What? He goes into a promise I'll be worth the way. What? <laughs> My fucking mind's blown right now, bro. 
I don't even know what to think. I like it. Coming back with that funky style. The Those drums are out. Time. You guys got to get your... Uh, that, that's... Okay. That was... Uh, that was a trip. I like that. That was I, a... That, I like I, that. I... I l- I liked it. I honestly, though, I feel like it was two completely different songs. Well, yeah, I mean, it's fucking bananas. I totally. <laughs> I, I, I think that's why I like it. Um, it I like. There's a pattern here. Uh, oh, I like the, <laughs> which would I think would be the chorus, the kind of more rock part of it. Like I mm. like that more than I liked the, the reggae, reggae part. part same, same. The reggae um, part to me was very generic. And, but you know, if you were, if it would have just opened up that rock with that rock part the whole time, yeah. there was no reggae. It probably it's the juxtaposition that made it really good. Uh, in, yes, in, in, you in my right. eyes. Yeah. Um, but that being said, um, I want to just let it be known that anybody who's who's a music maker or a producer bouncing these tracks down, um, when things are off beat, it, it makes it really hard to kind of get lost in the moment. And I I, I see as the submissions come through, I, I see people kind of struggle with like that part, you know, like the drums will be off time or the guitars will be really off time or something. And, and that can really trip up the listener during the experience. So that was something that someone told me a long time ago. Cause I used to just like record music and just put it up and people were like, yo, you have to like, um, be very mindful of like the timing and making sure that the experience for the listener is as easy as possible. You know, just a little, tidbit of information very well said very well said okay um thanks for submitting tim kranz we got one more baby one more let's just play that one more we, we're not going to cut anyone here we got five here let's cut let's play that other one the last one and then we're going to have to cut two yep sounds good to me okay we have a cover all right i love this okay fishy b in the ninja rigs Greatest band name. Oh, what? Ever. Fishy B and the Ninja Rigs. Oh, no, Fishy B and Ninja Rigs. I guess they're just two different Ninja dudes. Rigs. Yeah, Ninja what, Rigs. What's the cover song? The cover is Let's Go Get Stoned by, of course, Sublime, the one and only. Well, I swear Very unenthusiastic drummer. It's <laughs> so boring. Drummer's cracking me up. <laughs> He's so high. Tell your voice. Yeah, he does have a good voice. <laughs> Dude, the drummer is just getting me, bro. So who is he Ninja Riggs? I want to know who's Fishy B and who's Ninja Riggs. I, I think I know who Fishy B is. You think Fishy B's the drummer? Yes. I think he's got his little Duddy B shades on, his hat. He's trying to he's trying to channel it in. Fishy B, baby. And this guy just looks like Ninja Riggs. You know what I mean? Uncle Ninja, this is great. I mean, he's good. He's got a this great voice. This is great. You got a great he's voice, bro. S- solid guitar player. Um, drummers. <laughs> the drummer was cracking I got a up. thing with drummers today, bro. What's going on? <laughs> that was um, great. I mean, dude, really good voice. It sounded yeah. like you were just right right there in pitch, and you were a solid guitar player when you hit that little lick right there. It was just like, sounded really nice and clean. Um, yeah, I mean, good job. Dude, 100%. I'm I'm actually um I'm impressed, bro. I would yeah. Um That's cool. I would honestly That's a hard song to cover too, by the way. Let's I would probably top. cut Tim Kranz, I'm Same. alive before Same. Fishy B and Ninja Riggs. Same. And Same. Th- and thank you, Tim Kranz. That was that was a, a cool song. It just uh I don't know. It, it, it threw me off. I felt like it was two different songs. Yeah. In one. Yeah, same. Which sometimes isn't a bad thing. Like, I love that you're trying, you w- try to just go completely somewhere different and shit, it might be the most genius move ever. I don't know. I just, 
my first hear of it, I was like, whoa, what just happened? Where are we now? How did we get here? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> Man. Okay. Um, but now we have uh, Olivia Malbran with Mir, uh, the, you know, the sweet little girl voice. Yep. Um, we had the Burning Slow, who yep. was the super funky uh, band. Yep. Funky we had that cover guy. we just heard from Fishy B. Yep. We had the Impressionists left, and then we have George Seca. That's correct. We have to cut one. Who's for sure staying for you right now? Who's staying? Um, Olivia, because I think she has potential, and I have. I agree. Sucker for the youth, um, and uh, for sure, uh, Fishy B, because I just I want to see him win. You're you're keeping Fishy B and Ninja Riggs. Come on, bro. For sure. I want to give him a second shot. I want to see All what right. he can do. Let's, let's okay. Um, let's, uh, Fishy B. That's just my opinion, though. You know. No, oh. dude. Okay. <laughs> and then that's cool. But Seca's good too, though. You know, he 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 came in hard. You know, George Seca. Can we do this right here? Because here's the deal. But then the impressions are fired too. I I, I don't want to. I would like to. Can gas we just keep the these five? Can we keep these five? No, we gotta keep four, man. We gotta stick to our own rules. You start breaking the rules and things get Fuck, crazy. Man. It's like a diet. Fuck, man. You eat one cookie and the next thing you know, you eat two and then you just No you one know. eats one cookie. Nobody eats one cookie. One Oreo. We try. That's no stupid. <laughs> okay. Um I to me it's between the reggae burning slow and um and Seca. George Seca. I liked the second jam. Me too. But, you know, the, the, the Burning Slow song wasn't that, that, you know, it wasn't a bad song either. I liked the Burning Slow song. So For me, honestly, it would probably be between... If it was up to me, I would probably be between Rick, the, the Impressionist, and Burning Slow. I think it's Burning Slow. Is it burning slow? It is burning slow. And I liked the burning slow song. Me too. I think too what's pushing it over for me, which is a you know, I don't know if that's fair. It's like we haven't had an impressionist before in the contest. No, and we haven't had like an acoustic cover either. Like an acoustic yeah. duo cover, which I, I think could be kind of cool, you know? We've had our fair share of like reggae bands. It'd be cool to kind of s- spread it out a little bit, you know? So we're going. Olivia Mel- uh, Melbran, Fishy B and Ninja Riggs fucking made it. They made it. Rick, Rick Royer, the Impressionist, and good old George Seca. That was Dude, a good that's, song. That's a good song. This is a great episode. We we got some good it. talent. Those are going this is a to really the Facebook good, group. You know what I love about this? These four, every single one of them is completely different. Exactly. That's what I love. Not even too. fucking close to each other. None. Zero totally of different. them are close to each other. So totally different. Perfect. I love it. And yep. thank you too to everyone else who submitted. Um, we really do appreciate it. And if you ever want to submit more, like and be on another episode, do it. Submit again. Like there's no rules against being on totally. here twice. The um, Roman Duddy and show even, and Gmail. You know, like uh the, the regular people. That was a great track. Maybe go back and just like do like another recording of it. Take another yeah. chance at it. Take another stab at it. Or send, send that one. shit back. Totally. Yeah, or a different Re-hit track, it. whatever. Um, <clears throat> and, and that definitely goes for everybody. Um, and so these these four finalists of the show will be sent over to our Facebook group at the Roman Duddy Show. And um, yeah, we'll have the poll up for you guys to be able to vote on who will be the winner of this round and I think it'll be really awesome because like you said daddy they're they're all really different and I'm really curious yeah. to see how they all kind of you know act to get everyone over to vote on the poll so yeah you know this will be that's like now becoming one of my favorite part of the show is seeing how the talent rallies to get people to vote for them I just yep. think that that's yep. like it's it's sick man so super cool 
Um, yeah, thank you to everybody for submitting. We really do appreciate it. And please make sure you send more submissions and questions to the Roman Duddy Show at gmail.com or head on over to our Facebook and um, introduce yourself over there. Like Duddy was saying earlier, it's a bunch of awesome people who are always just, you know, talking about the show and talking about the contestants and our bands and stuff. So it's a cool community. Make sure you slide through. And yeah, what, a, what an awesome yep. episode, man. You know what? I don't have time for any more Q&A because i got to get to the studio. But before I do leave, I do want to make a very special announcement. Me and Rome have a limited ed- limited edition uh, item that we are going to be putting on pre-sale the first week in March. And it is yes, a sir. very, very cool situation. It's a collector's box. And inside this collector's box, there is going to be a, a small batch of... It's a yep. CBD flower, and uh, it's, so it's just legal. super. We can get it to all the states, and it's. I mean, yes. it, it's like it's amazing. I actually have been smoking. It's a, it's a Hawaiian haze, um, candida strain, and I mean, dude. It's been like it's just got it's, it's been packed, my morning substitute packed so. with CBD and uh, it's all just organic and, and it was a very small batch grown and it it just it it's a great way to start the day it really does just make yep. you feel like ah you're obviously you're not tired or anything like that because you're not getting high but it just you feel like a little re- relief and just ready to start the day and inside that collector's box as well there's going to be a grinder and there's going to be Giblets some limited Crocs. edition. It's some Croc giblets, pins. some pins, and then a super some badass um, um, dad cap that we put together too with the awesome colorway that is like yep. super 90s. Yeah, and it's it's all wrapped in a really beautiful box that we've been kind of working on for a while. So, yeah, yeah. we're really, and really stoked on it. They're, they're, there's only going to be 125 of these made. We're only making 125 of these boxes. We're not sending out 125 and making 500 and giving them out. No, we're making no. 125 of them. That's it. And we're, and the, that's all that we're selling. That's all that we're shipping out. And every one of them is numbered and signed by me and Rome. And that pre-sale will go on the first week of March. I don't have the exact date yet, but I'll get it too, but it will be the first week of March that we put this on pre-sale. So yeah, very exciting. And again, thank you guys to all the, the concept, ah, contestants that submitted. We appreciate it. And we hope you guys enjoyed the show. Couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you so much. We'll catch you guys next week for another episode of the Roman Daddy Show. We'll see you then. Peace. Peace.